okay. I'll show you we're doing a little canal fishing here and a little tarpon there just off to my right. Um, doing pretty good. I mean, there was another little roll. I've, uh, well, there's another roll. These are little guys, you know. I jumped one a moment ago that was about 20 pounds. 15, 20, that range. But several of these, I, I landed one earlier. It's a little, a little one. And uh, he might have gone, I don't know which way to cast here. He might have gone about five pounds or so, but it was just a pretty little tarpon. And tarpon you, is a tarpon, you get to see their big eyes. And uh, that dorsal fin, that distinctive uh, long fin. Look at those couple tarpon right in front of me. But there are days, this is an overcast day. There we go. We are on. Tarpon on. Poon on. Watch him. Oh, he's coming up. He's still on. That's a poon on. This is a fourth jump. He's going to come up again. This guy, I don't want to get him too close to the rod because he's going to be able to break the line. Come on, guy. He wants air. He wants air. He wants hang time. All right, adrenaline's rushing. Here he's, oh, he's gonna travel along the seawall. Don't do this to me. Don't come up right in front of me. That's what he wants to do. Gonna get ready, here he comes. Gonna... Okay, here he goes. I'm gonna give him a little line. This guy isn't as big as the last one, but uh, we've, we've hooked. He's gonna come up again, I think. This time I have the bulk of grips right here with me. The last one I had to finagle uh, the line around the tree. I wish the boys were here, the nephews, came down from Chicago, and today would have been an ideal day for these guys on fly rod, because you're talking, oh, uh, this has got to be the 20th hit, where they're, they're hitting this lure. And I'm feeding a line out on this. I want to tire him out. I don't want him to uh, get too close to the end of the rod, because they... This guy's he might come up again. Let's see, a little jump. Back off on a drag a tad. But this would have been the perfect scenario for uh, the nephews when they were here, or Brian just left, uh, Adam not that long ago, to uh, lay out a fly. And again, we're back to using white. Um, I had on a white DOA bait buster. And I went to a Berkeley uh, paddle tail, white paddle tail. And look at those tarp in front of me. Now we just still may wind up. I probably can reach down on the seawall. Oh, there he is. I probably can reach down on the seawall and uh, take a uh, bulky grips are behind me there. But we're talking about so far 20 hits, four or five in the air, and then little guys. Uh, this, if this guy comes in, will be the second one, but a small one, similar to the first. But we had one on that was 15 or 20 pounds. But I haven't said that in this video. And I think I still have a few of these DOA, or uh, paddle tails. I'm out of the DOA. So uh, now that we get this guy in, we'll decide uh, either another white paddle tail or, oh, there. <laughs> Final leap. Can you imagine, though, when these guys are 150 pounds and they're doing that both, both side? It is, it's amazing. When you see something that's as beautiful and shiny, big eyes and power that uh, can weigh in excess of 200 pounds coming up right next to your boat. The rolls are still out here everywhere. This guy's hooked well, I think. So we have no issue with that. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll go down and grab them. Small enough that uh, small enough that I just will keep the bail closed. If it was a big fish, I'd probably leader it with the bail open, being from shore. Just, I'm by myself. Now watch, he's not going to like this, but when he gets bulky gripped, he's going to shake violent. Okay, there I, what I tell you. So here we go, we get him in, as soon as we get the lure out of his mouth. See where the hook went. Oh, good hook up on him. Yeah, right there. And uh, isn't that a beauty? Huh? That's the little silver king. Gorgeous eyes, and let me just show you that fin. Look at that fin on the, uh, 
don't know if you can see that. I gotta hold it up a little bit, but that fin off his back. We want to get this guy in right away. Big old mouth on him. Bony mouth. Let's see. You okay? Gorgeous eyes. Look at those eyes if you can see that. Okay, you now come on. Try to revive this guy. Oh, <laughs> nice, nice kick. So uh, we're talking within a half an hour um, in this little little uh, intersection of a canal. Within a half an hour, approximately 20 uh, plus hits, uh, four tarp into the air, and uh, two are ready to shore. And it's one of those days. They're, it's pushing 10 o'clock, a little after 10. These fish are still actively feeding. And uh, it's just one of those days that, uh, again, uh, laying a fly out there or anything, a white fly and stripping it, or uh, we may switch off now and uh, see if we don't pick one up on a uh, Rapala x wrap But definitely uh, just one of those days where they are hitting. This is JK9303 on YouTube videos, signing off.